As we mentioned, we are celebrating Hanukkah this morning. The Maccabees of Yeshiva University are joining us. Just about two months ago, one of them, Emmanuel Shalev, was listening to a version of Tara Cruz's song, hit song, Dynamite, and thought up his own version called Candlelight. I'll tell a tale, 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 tale yeah. of Maccabees in Israel, L, 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 yeah. When the Greeks tried to assail, sell, sell, sell. Yeah. It's it practically become a Hanukkah no anthem by now, so it's picked up more than two million hits yeah. at last yeah. counting on YouTube. Yeah. Emmanuel Shalev is here along with Ori Westrich, who directed the video, and the rest of the Maccabees. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for freezing for us on the plaza. <laughs> so you're walking around, you've got your earbuds on, and all of a sudden you're thinking, I flip my latkes in the air sometimes? You know what, it came It came out with, I throw my hands up in the air sometimes. I was listening to uh, the Mike Tompkins version of the cover, and it turned into, I flip my latkes in the air sometimes. And we went, it, it took a day, I think, to write the lyrics from that point, and it, it fell together, it was amazing. And it's clearly taken off. I was telling you guys anecdotally, I was around the city this weekend, I was in a store, and there were a bunch of kids singing it, like, wait, I don't forget, what's the chorus? And I wanted to scream, they're on the show Monday. <laughs> what's the reaction been like? It's been amazing. Um, I mean, as the director of the video, when Emmanuel approached me and asked me to do the video with them, we had done one previously, and I just tried to show a bunch of fun, energetic guys who take life seriously, but don't take themselves too seriously, and who are proud of their heritage, yeah. and I think we got that across. Well, it's great, too, because there are clearly so many Christmas songs. There's a lot going on this time of year. There aren't that many Hanukkah songs, or not that have gone mainstream, obviously. That's changed, though, with this video. I mean, were you after that at all? I mean, obviously, we weren't thinking on that kind of uh, scale, but if people are telling us that this is making them proud to be Jewish and that this is make, making their holiday, their season, making them happy, yeah. then that makes all of us really fulfilled and happy. And it's had quite an impact because it's not just here on the early show. It's not just the two million hits on YouTube. I understand you've had calls from the rabbi of London, even Jay Leno. <laughs> so what's next for you? Honestly, I, we can't think about what's next. <laughs> we're, we're totally just blown away with this, but uh, you know what? I think people should just enjoy the video, enjoy the song, and we're really happy with that. The video is really well done, too. Thank I you. have to say, so you thought up this whole thing. How long did it take you guys to shoot it? It only took a day to write it. We shot for about four days. Um, I'm actually in medical school now. So um, you have lots of free time for shooting videos <laughs> for your a cappella group. We, we found some minutes and hours here and there, four days, about three weeks of editing. Um, and uh, I think I'm actually taking a leave of absence now. And uh, to, be, to be the manager for the road no, show? I'm not the, no, I'm not the manager. <laughs> just to, to see if this is something that I can pursue and maybe work with. Well, it's great. Well, clearly two million people are fans, and we are as well. Thank you all for coming in Thanks this morning, and us. happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the Maccabees, Harry, into you. They're going to sing us off a little bit, I think. And the great menorah, great days of candles burning. What a celebration, a great return to Nora learning. Because I, I, I.